Hi everyone, uh, we will start in a few seconds, uh, just waiting the last audience to, to, to log in inside the, the webinar. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon. Uh, how are you, Dexma team? Good, good, yeah. thanks, Joe. Waiting to share all the news with all of you. Very good, very good. I'm having here some trouble with the, with the webcams, but it's okay. Yeah, good. Uh, thanks everyone uh, for, for connecting today to the Dexma Day uh, 2022. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to have uh, this afternoon uh, all of you here. Uh, we have a really a packed agenda. Uh, in the next two hours, uh, you will discover most of the things that we've been working for the last 12 months. Uh, we have very interesting tracks around product with the Dexma product team as well some news related as well from the sales team. Here with me, we're seeing Caroline, Miguel, and Bilal in the UK. Very happy to have you this year in the Dexma Day. And I'm looking forward, of course, to all the feedback uh, that you can that you want to send us. Uh, remember that in the GoToWebinar, you have this uh, widget on the right side, you can ask uh, questions and comments anytime during the session. And what we will do is after the session, uh, we will answer all those questions uh, at an individual level, okay? So if we're ready, let's start. So I would like to start with, uh, with a bit the agenda that we have prepared for today. Uh, we're going to start very briefly, 15 minutes around Dexma, Spacewell, and Nemechek. Some of you might know uh, we had some uh, shareholder changed uh, two years ago, so we would like to brief you on that and as well to share with you uh, where we're going as a, as a company. The next track is really the important one because Dexma as an energy management uh, software company, all what we do and our love uh, is towards our product. Uh, and, and here the product team led by Alfonso Mateos and the rest of the product managers will be super happy to share you in what we've been working the last 12 months and as well in what uh, we will be working uh, in the next year. After that, uh, how to start working with Dexma? Uh, some of you, you might be already working with us, but some of you, you might be thinking uh, to get an energy management software or to start working uh, with Dexma. So here again, the sales team uh, will share with you uh, the best or the steps on how to start working with us. And after that, uh, here I'm seeing the first typo, uh, it's uh, you're gonna get uh, the feedback from our customer success team on uh, how to maximize your success if you are already working with our software. Okay, here you're seeing in the screen Guillem Corominas, and and he's not here this year with with me. I'm I'm missing him. Uh, he's he's on a paternity leave, but those of of those who have been connected the last years of the Dexma Day, you will remember that we used to do this uh, track, Guillem and I, who happen to be the co-founders of, of Dexma. Thanks again for connecting and let's start. So the, the first part of this presentation, the who is who, uh, here what I wanted to share uh, with the audience is, uh, you know that Dexma has been in the market for a while. So Dexma started its operations 15 years ago and the company was acquired in December 2020 by Spacewell. This is why, of course, in our communications, you see nowadays Dexma by Spacewell and in the future we will be renamed to Spacewell Energy. But no worries at all, because Spacewell Energy has in its team uh, the old Dexma colleagues, uh, included myself. 
of course, uh, who is a space well? Uh, because this is the name, no? the new name that you are seeing all the time. Spacewell is a company, uh, is a software vendor based in uh, Belgium and the Netherlands mainly, but they operate global. And we are close to 350 uh, teammates, employees. And uh, the software of Spacewell, it's towards managing portfolios of buildings, uh, the works the workspace optimization and as well the improvement of the experience of, of its occupants. This has a lot of synergies of uh, with what we do at Dexma, the, the energy management part. So of course we're looking, uh, looking forward to this future where we will integrate all these products in, in a single uh, solution. And of course, who is a Spacewell? So Spacewell is owned by a very large uh, German group called the Nemechek Group. And here you can see that the Nemechek Group uh, has more than 13 leading software companies all around the world. Uh, that includes the whole life cycle of the buildings. So architecture, engineering, construction, and as well uh, operations. If you, want, if you are interested in knowing more, of course, you can connect anytime to the Nemechek Group uh, website. And here in this slide, I just want to show you where we are uh, of, uh, as a Spacewell or, or, or Spacewell Energy under the umbrella of the Nemechek Group. So we are under the segment of Manage and Operate. And Manage and Operate uh, has the focus, of course, in the buildings that are already uh, there, that they have already been built. Okay, but of course, after talking about Spacewell and the Nemechek, uh, for those who do not know us, uh, our mission, the mission of Spacewell Energy and, and Dexma, is to help people and organizations understand and optimize their energy use. And we've been doing this, as I said, since 2007, and we've been doing this building after building, industry after industry. Good. Um, so. One of the things as well that I wanted to share in this uh, introduction, in this Dexma Day 2022, is the top trends that we see uh, to in related to technology and of course, intelligent energy management. The first one is, you might be aware of course, of the uh, increase in energy prices. Uh, here, what we think it's very, very relevant is that for most of the organizations in Europe and, and worldwide, the energy cost starts being uh, a big portion of the revenue of these organizations. If you, for example, take in mind and, and, and you think that the average EBITDA for an organization in Spain is 6%, with the energy costs duplicating and even triplicating, uh, these organizations are really having a very bad time. So here we say that only 9% of these companies have advantage over these energy prices increase because they are actively using an energy management software or a sustainability software. This is a survey from the World Economic Forum. The second one that you might be aware as well, and in case you have uh, energy management projects, energy efficiency projects ongoing, is all the uh, chipset uh, crisis or uh, all over the world. So here we're seeing that the, the, the crisis in these uh, hardware components are delaying deliveries of energy meters, submitters, controllers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Here, of course, uh, what we want to tell you as a software vendor is that we are working more and more uh, to integrate as many data lakes as, as we can, because then, of course, uh, of course, this uh, crisis will, will be solved at a certain time, but we don't know when. So, meanwhile, uh, be aware that most of the countries, at least in Europe, start having these data lakes where you can collect real-time data or nearly real-time data, hourly, uh, in, in most of the cases, and just with two clicks. So without doing any on-site commissioning, without installing any additional hardware, you can already collect data from, this, uh, from the smart meters or the fiscal meters of your country. The third one, 
is related to COVID. So COVID changed everything. And here we say the future of the office has changed forever and new tools are needed. So here you have some data and surveys uh, that are showing how large, medium and small corporations are, uh, are forecasting uh, their, their future uh, space. No? If they are gonna reduce their offices, if they are gonna grow. But of course, what you need in these times of the hybrid working is more data than ever, and you need new tools to know if people is in the office, if these spaces are being used, et cetera, et cetera. And for example, we're, when we are doing air quality, that we are renovating the air that goes, of course, against energy consumption, it's very good to have this information because you could not renovate no the 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 air of a certain space if it's not occupied so then not having this energy consumption so here what we expect is that tools as uh, the space world ones here you can see one screenshot very interesting with different sensors that will let you know in real time uh, how the spaces are occupied this is going to be uh, integrated in the future with your current uh, solution of, of, of Texma. And the fourth trend and the last one is related to sustainability. So those of you, you might know, of course, that at Texma we have certain pieces of the sustainability puzzle. Uh, but here we are uh, thinking about which is our which is our role in the future in this market. So of course we say energy is important, but what about sustainability? We are seeing in the market more than 600 standards related to ESG, which is not easy at all, let's say, to standardize, and as well some bad press related with ESG due to its easy manipulation, we could say. At Dexma, of course, we think that uh, if we need to simplify this, as this uh, cover uh, from, from, from a magazine was saying, is it could be boiled down to a simple measure, emissions. And here you have the greenhouse uh, gas protocol, uh, the GHG protocol, where you calculate, where you can, cal can calculate uh, the carbon footprint of an organization. So, our roadmap uh, is being influenced at, at this moment by many feedback that we're getting from the market. So if you're interested in this part and you would like Dexma to uh, move forward this space, uh, please reach us and give us your feedback, your use cases, and we will be happy to uh, analyze them. That was the four trends uh, that we've seen uh, the latest months in the market. And now, as I said at the beginning, uh, Dexma is a software company and we're very, very proud of our software and our product. So I would like to welcome Alfonso Mateos, our product director, Laura Martinez, Jordi Garcia, and Sofia Fernandez, our product managers, who will be the ones uh, and sharing uh, what, what we've been working at Dexma. Thanks again. And I hope to see you, well, before the next year, let's say. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. Let's share. Now you're seeing our screen. OK. Uh, welcome, everyone, um, to this part of the session where we will uh, try to discover all uh, Dexma product uh, offerings. and and to share with you the latest uh, developments, latest solutions that we have been working on. So, and to start with this, um, with this session, we will try to find, we will try to, to know how to build our path uh, to sustainability, right? Because everything goes around the sustainability thing. And why? Because all the, organizations, all the, the, the planet needs uh, the carbon emissions to, to be reduced. A proof of this is the that Fit for 55 package plan on the EU that at the end is pushing us to, to get uh, to reducing the greenhouse gas emissions uh, with that greenhouse gas protocol also that John was talking about. And if we need to reduce the emissions, the carbon emissions, we have two ways to do that. One is to save energy, of course, 
And the other is to, to adopt cleaner, renewable energies, right? So we are we, we need to push that way. And this is just a, a, a picture where we see how all the countries are uh, increasing their, their uh, targets in terms of uh, emissions uh, reduction. And if this is not enough, then energy prices are rising and this is just adding more importance to that uh, energy savings uh, goals that, that we all have. Because at the end, the cheapest kilowatt hour is the one that is saved, is the one that is not consumed, right? And everything in DEXMA goes around that idea. And of course, every kilowatt hour that is saved uh, generates no emissions. So that's also uh, really, really important. And that's the mission in DEXMA. Our mission is to help you to better understand your buildings, to improve them, to reach those energy efficiency goals in your, in your buildings and for your for yourself and for your customers also, okay? And all DEXMAS product offering goes around this idea and in the center of the energy intelligence uh, with DEXMA, there is DEXMA Analyze. We, it's been like 15 years, I think, um, with this energy management software that we have been providing tools so that you have um, the right analysis to improve your buildings, right? To, to execute those projects of, of energy efficiency. But when you are trying to, to start an, er, an energy efficiency project, the first uh, question that always arises, how much energy can I save? And to answer that question is why uh, DEXMA developed some years ago, uh, DEXMA Detect. And DEXMA Detect is a tool powered by artificial intelligence that uses all the energy models that DEXMA has been able to create thanks to our database to detect the energy efficiency potential on your portfolio, to give you recommendations to reach those, uh, that potential, to, to, to achieve those savings, and also to help you to decide which are the, the best buildings to start with and to focus your investment so that it is uh, more profitable, right? And once you know where to start, once you know which are the buildings you want uh, to tackle first, you will go into uh, DEXMA Analyze. And DEXMA Analyze is about real-time data. It provides you a lot of analysis tools to help you get into the detail of every building, deal with the real-time data, um, calculate the, the savings of your energy projects, because at the end, calculating the savings, estimating the savings is key for the success of your, of your business, right? And of course, uh, place those savings into uh, reporting tools like uh, reports or like the new dashboards. But then sometimes it arrives uh, the, the, the day where you have such a big portfolio or um, a huge amount of data that you have really not time to analyze that data the way you will like. And that's why we created Optimize because Optimize is analyzing all your consumption data always. It analyzes all your data all the time, 24 seven so that it creates a list for you with all any um, unexpected thing and any unexpected consumption in anomaly that uh, anomaly detection can find so that you have more time to solve them instead of uh, wasting time on, on searching for those anomalies. As you see, there are tools based on data, on your data. It is uh, powered all the platform uh, by artificial intelligence. And at the end, the purpose of the whole platform of all three products is to help you to automate the efficiency process to the maximum so that you have more time to focus on those uh, valuable, valuable tasks that uh, will get you more profit from, from, from your projects, right? And this is a, an introduction to the product, but uh, to help you better understand and to show you uh, better the value of each of them, I will pass the, the, the word to Laura Martinez, that is the Detects uh, product manager, 
so that she can uh, show you better the value from this uh, detect tool. So please, Laura, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Alfonso. So let me share my screen. Um, yes. So um, I'm going to try to explain you for the following 10 minutes uh, what we have been doing during this last year in DETECT. So for those of you who have already know DEXMA, uh, we DETECT is not a new product, but uh, until now it was, let's say, the value was a little bit uh, hidden because it was a product that we developed and that was available for a specific subset of customers. But uh, due to the context that uh, Joan was explaining before, this uh, rise of the electrical prices, uh, the hardware issues, we decided to do launch it for, for all our customers and to make it available so uh, any customer can, can use it. So um, I would like to make an intro to explain you in four brief points what is DETECT and what is the value that it can bring to you. Uh, so uh, first is the is a tool that it's thought to you be, to be used without the the need of installing any hard any additional hardware or performing a pilot phase. This is done because uh, Detect is able to provide within insights by using the, uh, the historical consumption that could be gathered, for example, from a data lake, and with that uh, the activity or usage of the building. And uh, we, if we know where is it where it is located. Uh, we can provide some results. Of course, all the um, context data, like the surface, the prices, might help us to provide better results. But just with these three inputs, we are able to, to start um, having results and give you a glance of could, what could be um, improved and what is the efficiency potential that you might have on your portfolio of buildings. Um, it works with any type of commercial building. So it can be used within a small building like a restaurant or a huge one, such as a university, both in the private and public uh, sectors. So it is the, the first step, as, as Alfonso was mentioning before, to detect savings. So what we do is to compare uh, buildings among, um, against our own database. Um, and of course, those buildings are normalized by consumption weather data. And uh, we, we detect which is the potential of improvement. So we, we try to help our customers to for huge portfolios and for all kinds of buildings to know where to start. Once this data is updated every month, for example, every week, we can uh, recurrently update those results. So um, is the, the step before the, monitor, the, um, the monitoring part that is performed in Analyze. So, what we do is a combination of energy modeling, simulation, and artificial intelligence that is based on our database uh, of, of 15 years of data. And we use that to, to, to provide you within some initial inputs in this energy intelligence journey. Um, just to, to quick, I will, I will show you the two main values of this tool. So first is the, do we analyze the efficiency of all your buildings? It doesn't matter if you have a portfolio of 10 buildings, 100, uh, 1,000 buildings. So we perform a massive analysis and uh, provide you within some um, KPIs, key assets that help you within your analysis. So we will see it afterwards, but we provide within evolution, comparative graphs, uh, the ranking of the, of the buildings that compose your portfolio. So this is, let's say, the, the um, benchmarking part. So once we know where, where are we and what are the Mm, where we can find uh, or, or where should we start with, with the buildings that, that have more potential, we perform another step, which is a virtual simulation of energy efficiency recommendations. So we adapt those, those retrofits per country and we uh, simulate the impact, for example, which is the impact of installing a solar PV installation. If you avoid the standby consumptions, maybe you could be more efficient, uh, promote energy behavior, et cetera. We will see afterwards the retrofits. Uh, we also complement the bill uh, of the buildings um, performing some analytics of, of behavior. And uh, we can we provide also within some energy advices to promote loyalty. So without further 
um, uh, PowerPoint, let's go directly to the to the demo itself. So we have here a demo account. Uh, let's go for this for these corporate buildings. It's composed by 64 buildings among uh, the whole world. I will go briefly to see the portfolio. So we have buildings in the USA, Canada, in Europe. Uh, we will focus today in Spain. We have uh, several buildings, a portfolio of offices, portfolio of uh, retails, and then we have buildings in other European countries such as Germany, Benelux, etc. So um, we have here Detect uh, as a first step on this energy journey that we are explaining today. And if we go to the tool itself, uh, we will see the analytics for the whole portfolio. So uh, first, if there's any issue within the configuration, the, the tool itself will let us know where are the issues and how they can be solved. For example, if we don't have enough data or any configuration issue. And we can see quickly here the whole portfolio. So uh, as I, I saw before, we have buildings in Europe, in Spain, in other parts of the world. And uh, quite fast, uh, we, we can see the average efficiency score. This is the score of each building compared against up to 100 similar, similar buildings that are have been normalized and the size of the bubble shows the savings estimation. So we should tackle those buildings red with a bigger size of the bubble. Um, we have here the period that has been selected. So in this case, um, those, da those data has, has been updated recently because we are at the beginning of October and uh, we can download the results that we are going to see now through the interface. So um, we have the, the efficiency of the whole portfolio, uh, which is uh, 57 out of 100. So we have 26% of efficiency potential. And those, um, those, those euros are the savings estimation within the simulation of the retrofits. So detect help us or try to help us to, to see which buildings have uh, the biggest potential. So we have here the efficiency ranking um, by potential efficiency. How many buildings, um, let's say, are, are clustered by efficiency potential. So we should uh, probably start by this for these two. We have here the distribution. Uh, those, as I was mentioning before, those that are red with uh, a bigger bubble should be the first ones. And we also provide within some key metrics in this table where we can list them by different KPIs like the efficiency score, um, savings estimation, etc. And we also provide the distribution of, of the consumption. And we can uh, go to the specific buildings that we want through these filters. So, for example, Let's try uh, imagine that, that I want to see a building in Spain, for example. So this is the first uh, filter with an efficiency score or potential savings, for example, that are um, with the biggest uh, potential savings. And I am performing a campaign of several um, retrofits. For example, I want to have a building uh, where solar panel simulation are positive and also to improve the energy efficiency behavior, for example. So I have these, these buildings that have been filtered. And imagine that I'm working in, in, in Andalusia, for example, for a specific customer. So let's go for the detail of this uh, Retail 15, that, which is in Cadiz, to see exactly um, the details about this, this building. OK, so yeah. We have here the building located in, in Cadiz, as I was mentioning. Um, the results, we, we say that the confidence is high because of the, of the quantity and quality of the data provided. We have the surface, the consumption of this building, and the period. We can download the report in the meantime while I'm explaining the details. Uh, so this building has a low score, therefore has a, a, a big uh, efficiency potential of 54%, and the estimations uh, of potential savings for this period are uh, uh, 12,000 euros. Uh, if we see the comparison, we can see here that we are above the average building. And the reason is that for every month that has been analyzed, we, we have exceed the sector's average. So we have here the retrofits for this building. In this case, 
it makes sense. We are in the south of Spain, so we have a retrofit of to install in solar panels, if possible. If we have the surface on the roof available, it will be an option to save up to um, um, 12,000 euros. Uh, we have also other retrofits. For example, we can improve the energy efficiency behavior and afterwards track it on, on the measure and verification model that uh, Jordi will show you afterwards to, once we have detected this opportunity, see the evolution or other types of uh, retrofits, different energy tips like the indoor, to check the indoor end quality, uh, temperature reduction, etc. And this the, all these um, outputs that we have seen could be shared with the customer or with other stakeholders through this report, which is now in with the branded of branding of Dexma, but could be branded using the customer colors. Um, and that's it. I think um, now it's it's um, it's Jordi's time, so he can show you once we have detected these opportunities, how we can move forward to to the next step to analyze. So Jordi, are you there? We are here. Thank you, Laura. As okay. Laura mentioned, we're going to see now how we can track consumptions using Dexma Analyze, how we can track savings, and then how we can report all of that to all our stakeholders. So the screen we are seeing now is, I'm not sharing, oh, I'm not sharing. Uh, okay, there we go. Technical issues. Screen two. Screen two. No? Okay. Okay, now. Good. Okay. Right. So, so uh, sorry for the little interruption there. So, in the Dexma Analyze Consumption screen, we can see different uh, energy sources. We're going to focus on electricity today. Um, and we are assuming that we are monitoring uh, a several a portfolio of buildings of so the, the all the buildings that Laura showed us earlier. We assume that uh, we have connected them with Dexma and we send data, whether it's through a data lake with an API integration or uh, SFTP or whatever way we are loading data onto the platform, and we have data available. It might be main uh, fiscal meter data or submetering, uh, depending on the type of building. In this case, we are focusing focusing in a portfolio of buildings of one of um, our hypothetical customers uh, that has several offices. And here we can select which offices we want to track their consumption. If we select several offices, for instance, and select the period for which we can we want to analyze the data apply those dates we can also change the frequency in which we display the data we can easily see the consumption for these offices uh, in, a, in a chart we can change the chart into a bar chart or a, a sector chart a pie chart where we can see the, the distribution of consumptions we can change into a stacked uh, bar chart or we can see the total consumption of the the portfolio as well as the detailed consumption of each building and we can export this chart uh, to uh, an Excel file, a spreadsheet, or an image that we can include in, in presentations, or we can include it in a report that we can generate with the platform and which will have uh, updated data uh, every time that we generate it periodically in an automated way. We also have a table below with several KPIs that we can also share with, with our clients, with our energy managers. Uh, and this is how we track consumptions. But what about savings? We talked about energy performance measures. Important we detected, thing, right? we detected um, how to save energy. How do we track those savings? Well, we have a module, the measure and verification module, where we can track projects uh, for all our portfolio of buildings. So we're going to focus on a particular building uh, for which we have uh, generated uh, a baseline. Uh, that follows the uh, energy savings uh, that we, we did sell some energy performance measures uh, with tracking consumption at night. We try to minimize consumption at night. We are also controlling the temperatures, thresholds, whether it's uh, hot or cold, depending on the time of the year we're tracking those temperatures. And uh, we are targeting a 5% savings uh, according to 
the uh, behavior uh, energy performance managers so basically we, behavior improvements on the on the building right? that's correct uh, that's what we saw earlier with uh, analyzing with detect so here we can see the baseline consumption in this uh, blue line that we generated using uh, one of our modules as well it's uh, it's quite easy to use we just need uh, weather data and historical weather data data or any other type of parameter that we want to track in the platform, we could use occupancy, we could use production, we could use humidity, any type of weather or not weather, context variable that we can use, we, with, that we have, we can use. And along with historical consumption for the site, we can calculate a formula that we input in this module and it will create a baseline consumption for us. And in the bars, we can see the real consumption of our site. Uh, the, mm, Colors indicate if we are above or below the, the the baseline. So if we are saving energy or we are losing energy. Uh, below the chart, we have the accumulated view where we can easily see that we are actually below the reference and also slightly below the target. So we are good. We are generating savings in this project, but we should be careful because we're quite near the the target. So we small could, margin here. We right? have a very small margin, and and I mean that's the project is still going, uh, so, but we could generate losses if we are not careful. We've got two tables below that we can where we can see savings compared to either the reference or the target, and with that we can also export all this data to an Excel file, an image that we can use elsewhere, or we can also export this to a custom report where we can generate um, periodic reports for, uh, for our customers. Uh, and that's how we can track savings in the platform, but how about reporting to different stakeholders? But for that, we use the dashboards. Dashboards can be, we, we can create a type of dashboard according to each st stakeholder that we have. Here I created a dashboard for energy management, one to report costs, another that can report a uh, portfolio view. So this one focuses in a, in a specific building, but we can focus on the whole portfolio as well. We can have a sustainability uh, focus dashboard. So depending on our, our stakeholder, we can change the, the type of dashboard that we make. And mm -hmm. how? what are the dashboards? So a dashboards are uh, what you can see now we can select different widgets to display different information. Any kind of information that we have in the platform can be shown, whether it's with a, a KPI uh, widget or a, a pie chart widget, bar charts or line charts. Uh, we can even write down some text to uh, explain the energy performance managers or whatever thing, whatever we want to, uh, to communicate. communicate or explain to our clients or our, our, our stakeholders that will access these dashboards. In this case, we are tracking the total consumption of the building as well as the energy electricity we're importing from the grid, as well as what we are exporting to the grid because we have uh, solar panels. Uh, we are tracking also the gas energy consumption. It's a building that where we have submetering and we have each uh, floor um, monitored separately so we can track the different consumptions for each floor or we can focus on the floors that consume more maybe if we want to generate more savings we are tracking the temperature as well with thresholds uh, for 19 and 27 degrees so we can easily see if we are within the thresholds that we define we also compare with the external weather temperature in in the city we can track the the, the whole uh, the, the main load in the building with in a different chart we also can track um, inputs digital inputs so if we have HVAC uh, that we have the signal where the HVAC goes on or off we can easily see that and compare it to where the the consumptions in our building so if here we see a, a slight correlation on, on when the the machines go on or off and the, the different consumptions that we have in the building so that's for the, the let's say a building uh, view, but how can we communicate this with, with our clients or with our different teams? Do we have two ways of doing it via a dashboard link that we can generate? So if I click on here and I, I click on copy, this link is copied and I can send it via WhatsApp or via email, or I can paste it in a, in a different uh, screen. Uh, I could also show it in a, 
in a screen in a building and as easy as that without having to be logged in to the platform we can show this uh, dashboard to, to anyone that, that we what we want to I have yeah. it in my phone for instance yeah you, you could have it on your phone we can also share it like that, that this way you can share it and people can view it but if you want to collaborate on a dashboard that you're working on with your colleagues you could also share it with them and we, if you have created a profile of users, uh, for instance, our energy managers are in this profile, uh, you can add them to this dashboard and they can edit, or if you want to report this to sustainability stakeholders and let them view the dashboard, you could also add this profile. Or if you'd rather have the dashboard public for everyone in, in your account, you could do that with this checkbox here. And it's as easy as that. You Now, anybody that it belongs to those uh, profiles can access this dashboard and work with it and as well as the building view we, we can generate a portfolio view as we said where we can see uh, the different consumptions of, of each of our offices in the in, in our for our customer and we can see which ones are consuming more maybe we want to focus on those to, to generate more savings we can track the total consumption of the portfolio again a pie chart and in this case, we have a heat map where we can easily see the periods of the year where we are spending more energy. Like in the cold months, we can see that uh, in, in the morning, we have to turn on all the HVAC uh, to produce heating for our buildings and we are spending a bit more, whereas in, during night and the weekends, we spend less energy. And how can we edit these dashboards? Or how can we uh, do more with them? Because we, it's as easy as coming here, we click on edit dashboard, we can add a new widget and we can select the type of information that we want to, to plot. Here we're going to select uh, raw analysis data, we select a line chart for instance and we can add any uh, device that we're tracking in, a, in, in, in our account. In this case we're going to plot active energy data for the ground five or, or fifth floor in, in our building in a daily resolution for the last seven days. We click on save and it's as easy as that we have uh, a widget that is plot in this case it seems that we don't have any data for for this uh, for this device we can change it to a different one or we could go and see what's happening with 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 the meters in this case so it's also a way to see if also we're getting important. if we're getting data or not in this case we've got there is no data. we've got the data so that's good uh, and what about the layout? If we don't like the layout, we want to change the layout, it's as easy as coming here. We can edit the layout, we can make our widgets bigger or smaller, we can move them around, uh, we can change how they are displayed in a tablet if we want to, or in a mobile phone, as Alfonso said earlier, if we want to share it with, with our clients and, and have them access the, the dashboards with their phones. It's mobile, it's responsive, and it's quite very easy to, to configure. And as I said earlier, we are building dashboards based on who is seeing the who, who we want to communicate. We could also create a dashboard focused more on, on the costs. So if we have uh, we're tracking energy consumption or reactive excess energy, uh, demand excess, contracted load, or uh, other costs and taxes that might apply, uh, depending on where you live, maybe this is now sometimes bigger than the the bill itself, uh, that's the case at least now here in, in Spain, for instance, so we speak of experience. Uh, you could also track the gas costs, water costs, uh, dividing in uh, fixed costs, variable costs, or all the costs and, and the total cost. And we can also track the consumption next to it. So we have uh, a good view or, or on how our energy is being spent. And we could also focus on sustainability, like both Alfonso and Juan talked about sustainability. Uh, we can track uh, sustainability uh, indicators in DEXMA, we can track an, a, um, carbon equivalent uh, emissions. Uh, we could also track, uh, if we know uh, the scope one, scope two configuration and emissions, we could also plot them in a dashboard if, if we configure it. Uh, and we can have a general view and report that to our sustainability department as well. So as I said, for each type of stakeholder, we can build uh, a narrative and, and a dashboard that, that fits them and, and that can explain the data that they want to see thanks to the platform. And we can track savings, we can track energy, 
And last but not least, I want to talk about what's coming next. So we've seen a general view of how we can do, what we can do with the platform. Uh, what's coming soon in Dexma Analyze is the ability to generate savings for your whole portfolio. We saw earlier how to follow the energy savings for a single project. We didn't go into detail on how we created that baseline. Uh, for now, we can do it one by one. Uh, very soon, we will be able to create savings and baseline uh, consumptions for the, your whole portfolio. This is awesome. Jay. So that's with a single click, we will be able to configure a whole portfolio of, of projects uh, to track all those savings that you want to report. And we will be able to share those projects in the dashboard. So that's coming very soon as well. So hopefully we'll be able to share that with you very, very soon. So keep, keep, keep an eye open for this. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to, to share with you. I will leave now um, way for Alfonso to explain what's coming with uh, Dexma Optimize. So thank you, Jordi. Yeah. And as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, well, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen how Detect can help us to to detect to to see where where are the the, the that. Uh, efficiency potential in our portfolio we've seen and it's huge how we can calculate measuring and verification project how we can calculate those baselines for the whole portfolio in in a few clicks and what happened when as I mentioned at the beginning we have that huge amount of buildings that uh, amount of data that we cannot uh, cannot analyze we have not enough time that's where optimize uh, takes takes place and optimize is a solution which is as I mentioned is it is analyzing your data all the time so it keeps keeps track of all the consumptions that you are uh, that, that you have from your buildings on, on our platform it will cross that consumption information with weather conditions with uh, the day of the week, the month uh, of the year, the local uh, bank holidays. And with all that information, it will create a model, an energy model that will provide an estimated consumption threshold for the high and the low consumption. And any time that your real or your current consumption is going over or below that estimated uh, consumption, it will trigger uh, an anomaly for you. So it's about having an automatic list of everything that is happening in your in your buildings, in your portfolio, so that you have more time at the end to solve those anomalies, not having to waste the time on, on searching for them. Sometimes it is even frustrating when you are looking at all the data you have, but then you mm, spend a lot of minutes looking at, at one building and you find nothing and that's good because everything is on track but maybe you could have spent that time on on looking on on, on solving a problem and that's uh what optimize will provide you that guide so that you can uh spend your time on the most uh, valuable uh, tasks at the end right but sophia at the end all this Products, all Dexma offering has one point, uh, has something in common, right? And that's uh, what we call um, Dexma platform. So Sofia Fernandez will, will explain to you. She's the, the product manager of we, what we call platform. And she will explain to you why this is important and, and which are the, the latest uh, developments here also. So please, okay. Thank you, Alfonso. Well, good morning, good uh, good afternoon. So what's Dexma platform? Like also Alfonso was saying, platform uh, tries to manage all the common bases to, to the different uh, Dexma products, okay? So what exactly does this mean? Well, it includes, of course, uh, the way you insert uh, data in, in Dexma. This is very important because without data, you cannot really do anything. Uh, Dexma has several uh, integrations with different uh, brands and different models of hardware and of course through, through different uh, communication protocols so that you can insert data very easily. 
So speaking of inserting data, we have been receiving data for over 15 years, and this is quite amazing because it allows us to create a database that it's very extensive and it's quite unique in the market, and we try, we try to take advantage of it. But we try to do data analytics and we try to, to create artificial intelligence models in order to create solutions that are unique, that are innovative and that can differentiate DEXMA and at the end differentiate you in the market. Okay, so you can of course customize DEXMA. This means not only in terms of uh, user interface, but also if you want to, to configure the solutions that you offer uh, a customer. Of course, nowadays we have a, a public API because uh, probably you are going to need it to, to connect the platforms that you use internally with Dexma. And this way you can you have the, the data flow to working in an automatic way and you, you don't have to, to do it manually. And well, we have an apps market. And this means that you can install uh, apps that are useful for, for you. And most important, you can even create your own application. And this way, you are going to customize the Dexma even further. And to follow your own roadmap uh, on top of, of Dexma solution to get that specific need you have on top of, uh, of Dexma, right? Using our API. So that's really, really cool. Exactly. All together in Dexma with your own solution. So every day we have to, to make sure that the, the platform can grow. It's scalable and it grows if you if you also grow. And well, more important uh, nowadays, more, more than ever, we have to make sure it's secure for any user that uh, wants to access the platform. And well, make sure it's available if you want to, that it is there, if you right? want to use it. Exactly. Well, that's the that's, uh, Dexma platform within many other things. But now I want to show to you what uh, we are working on. We, we know that we are kind of in a technological transition in terms of uh, ways of receiving data. Many countries are making available in the cloud the data from, from the utilities distributors. And this means that in, in some cases you can skip buying and installing the hardware and you can gather the, the data that you already have on the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. So Dexma already last year integrated with DataDis, with, which is the, the, the data center for uh, Spanish data. This year, Fluvius for Belgium and very, very soon, uh, and it is for the French market. Okay how to facilitate the, the way you insert data in Dexma. Very important. Now, continuing in data insertion, we are also doing something else uh, for you to be able to create your own uh, data integration. And the best part is that uh, you'll be able to see that your own data integration in Dexma, like if it was just another uh, gateway na native from, from Dexma. This you, once again, you yeah. have the same tools to, to use it to lock everything that is happening, right? Exactly. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So now, at last, we just want to take a, a look at at the future of energy and what we think it should be the the future of Dexma as well. Uh, we want to focus on these three uh, verticals. At first, greenhouse gas emissions reporting. We all know it's not necessary to speak too much about it. We know that we have to do it uh, in order to, to handle the climatic uh, change. We also are right now in a moment of energetic crisis, right? So we are more and more aware that uh, we need to be self-sufficient. We have here solar PV, but we can be talking about any, any measure that we can take to be more uh, self-sufficient mm -hmm. and well of course the cost right we spoke about it before rising costs the rising costs every company is looking at it and is concerned and wants to to follow it up closely now what we would like to do at dexma is to take a generic approach to this to these topics and to more topics that may and will arise in the future and try to facilitate uh, all the configurations that you need in general for creating an account in Dexma and for these uh, verticals. 
so that you can do it very easy, very quickly, and if possible, that you can automate all the configuration. We also want, of course, to, to make the calculations that uh, for an indicator that it's necessary for, for uh, handling and analyzing these topics, make it automatic so that you don't have to concern uh, to be worried about anything. And that last portfolio analysis to be able to, to see all of your data at once and even compare it uh, if necessary. Good. That's it. That's it. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Thank you, Sophia. Um, we've seen uh, how the tech will help you to start our projects, how Analyze will help us to uh, get into the detail of the performance of each of your buildings, how to optimize will help us on that day-to-day -day, uh, uh, improvement, maintenance of, uh, of our buildings. We've seen also um, which is the future of those three main trends that we are uh, looking at for the development of the platform. And of course, with Dexma, uh, with Dexma purpose on having everything automated in bulk, configured and uh, at the level of, uh, of a portfolio, right? So it's a lot of value what we've been seeing here. And now I will try to explain you how will Dexma offer all this new value? Of the future. So at the beginning, I, I told you that we had Analyze. Analyze is that energy management software that has been with us for 15 years, providing you a lot of, 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 of solutions through our API, through our reporting tools, and through our analytic tools. And with this uh, solution, we have reached all of us uh, for a lot of for a lot of years, right? And having the ability to, to get all, all this data has, um, has enabled Dexma to create those energy models that uh, allow us to create detect. And detect with its big data and AI techniques has been arriving to some of our customers that are getting profit from it and from this uh, tool that, uh, enables them to, to, to know where to start from, right? And then we get into the optimized thing that is also helping a lot of users in their day-to-day -day task so that they have more time to fix the anomalies instead of searching them, right? But what we saw is that there is a lot of value in Dexma solution, but maybe it's a bit, I don't know if it's the word, it's a bit scattered, right? And we wanted to break with this schema. And what we've done is adding to the main offer the artificial intelligence and the dashboards so that everything is now packed uh, in, a, in a unique package, let's say, so that all the value is reaching uh, each one of you, right? So we want the value from all the solutions to arrive uh, to your businesses so that you can get profit from, okay? And this means one platform, and to execute this new offer, we've created three new licenses, okay? So the first one is Dexma Entry. It is for the ones that are starting your energy management uh, projects, to start in this world, but with automated data collection, with all the analysis tools uh, in, in Analyze, it helps you to communicate through the dashboards, to measure the savings through IPMDB. So a lot of a lot of value here, but for those organizations that are starting with all this energy efficiency journey, right? Um, or business, I would say. But for those that of you that need to scale your business, that need to scale your projects, we have Dexma Advanced. Dexma Advanced will help you also to integrate the platform with other services through the API, will also provide you with uh, one step further in terms of uh, energy intelligence by providing you Dexma Detect and Dexma Optimize in the same package uh, next to analyze, 
will also uh, provide you more in terms of, of training, access to the apps market, and in terms of uh, features or solutions, uh, you will be able to perform carbon reporting, uh, solar production analytics, or for instance, that a uh, huge bulk baseline creation uh, feature that Jordi explained that will for sure uh, increase your your speed in this uh, energy efficiency business, right? So all the value of all the solutions in Dexma in one license, but then for those really big organizations that need an extra uh, help on being able to create a long-term uh, strategy on term of, uh, of energy services, large corporations that need a uh, high level of customization also, dedicated customer success engineer, then the smart enterprise is your, is your solution, is your license, right? So at the end, we will have all the value packed so that you can access it with this entry that is for the ones that are starting on the energy efficiency, the advanced where all the solutions are uh, available for you and the enterprise license that will get you that extra ad hoc configuration, professional services and so on. So this is how Dexma will provide all this value in the future and We've seen a lot of things in this session, in this product session. So just to summarize, this slide will, will uh, remember us that we've seen how Detect will allow us to see uh, all our portfolio at a glance, how we will detect or automatic detection of those potential savings, the recommendations. We've seen also how to measure the savings, how to even create lots of projects, all the portfolio in, in some cases, how to report these uh, savings on the, on the dashboards to have everything controlled even from your phone and how Dexma is pushing also on facilitating you the, 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 the data integration with the platform so that you have your data because as Sophia said, without data, this, this has no sense and how Dexma will provide all this value in the future through our new licenses, right? So any question you may have about a uh, product offering, just please uh, place it on, on the GoToWebinar asking uh, window and we will be more, uh, well, we will be uh, there to, to answer you. And that's it from the product side. So now I will just, uh, pass the word to, to Miguel, Miguel Cruz, the sales director, that he will show us how to start with this energy management journey with Dexma, right, Miguel? Yes, here we are. So thank you guys for this great introduction about the product. This is great to see the new things that you've been developing this year. It really makes our life much easier in the sales team, right? <laughs> because we'll feel very comfortable having the, the best product in the market. And, and now it's time to, to explain how all this value can be brought to, to the end customers, right? And so during this session, we're going to explain how to start your energy efficiency management journey with, with Dexma. And I'm not going to do that uh, alone. We have as well today with us, uh, uh, Caroline Grissel. Hi, Carol, Hi, how are you? you? I'm good, thank you. Very happy to be here. Great, and we have as well Bilal. How are you, Bilal? I'm good, Miguel. Thank you. Happy to be here too. Great. So thank you guys for staying with me for, for this part of, of the session. We're set. Uh, we are going to talk about how to start your energy uh, journey with Dexma. So first of all, I want to start with this slide. This is an African prepared that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that's the first decision I think we made at Dexma a long time ago, that if we want really to tackle, to serve uh, all the end customers, all the buildings, all the industries in the world, we couldn't do it alone. That's why we need our network of partners. And um, But first, let's understand what uh, does a partner in the Dexma ecosystem. So on the one side, 
we are doing our our software products the ones explained by the by the product team detecting potential savings analyzing doing measurement and verification and optimizing by having a virtual energy manager 24 7. on the other side we have the the end customer so uh, at the beginning uh, when starting a, a project we need uh, our partners to help us with the following first with the project design so the partner will be in charge of visiting the customer defining the goals of the project analyzing the energy uh, balances preparing the data collection plan and engineering uh, the solution uh, with or without hardware as discussed before thanks to Dexmeditech we may start projects without the need to install any meter but if we want to go further we will need to install meters and sensors then once the pro project design is done and approved the partner will take care of the implementation by implementing the meters configuring the software delivering it to the end customer and providing training to them and here we'll have the project set up the energy management software will be up and running and the end customer will be served with a secure login web interface real-time alerts reports and so on but then once the project is in operation the partner has as well a key role right um, the first is uh, on Dexma side so we have to make sure that you have access to all the tools that we have described before the real-time monitoring the measurement and verification the alerts the reports the recommendations through detect the new dashboards but on your side as a potential partner you will have to provide continuous energy audit to the end to the end customer insights and proposals to improve uh, thanks to that you will make the end customer to feel uh, comfortable and to, and to feel sure then this will help as well to increase the loyalty of your customers as an energy service company or as a utility or as a consultancy company and all in all will provide the win-win that will not only be for Dexma the partner and the customer but as well for everyone for, uh, in order to face climate change and help with the energy transition so some examples of uh, partners that we have worldwide uh, we have more than 170 and all of them uh, are across 30 countries, most of them in Europe. So as you can see, we work with uh, utility companies, we work with energy management companies, uh, we work with consultancy companies, and all together we are serving more than 10,000 organizations worldwide. So in the retail and tertiary sector, you can see here relevant brands in the retail sector, the banking, the real estate, education, hotels, public administration and many more but uh, I want to specially mention the manufacturing sector which represents around 30 percent of uh, our business right now it is growing because of the growing of the energy costs and that uh, yeah it's a very special segment for us that we really want to serve through the new tools that we have developed so uh, in order to be able to serve that customers, you might decide to become a Dexma partner. And in order to do so, uh, we offer three licenses, three options, the ones that uh, Alfonso just explained before. The entry license with 500 data points, including the, the basic functionality that you need to set up your first energy management projects, including the data collection, the creation of dashboards, sharing reports with your customer and creating alerts as well next step will be the advanced license where you may benefit from uh, priority support in addition to the email support that we for offer in the entry license advanced training for your specific use cases we will assign to you as well new business opportunities as Caroline will explain later on and you will benefit from the entire functionality of the platform not only dexma analyze but as well dexma detect and dexma optimize and as explained by by alfonso if you, if you need to go uh, one step farther then enterprise is your option where you will get a dedicated customer success engineer to work with your organization you will have access to ad hoc uh, developments to customize the platform to adapt it to your business model and even access to 
a white label inversion of the platform, right? So, well, uh, after the webinar, if you want more information about the entry, advanced, and enterprise options, don't hesitate to contact us so that we can uh, help you analyze what's the best option for you. In addition to the software part, of course, uh, we help our partners with uh, required professional services. So, well, we are a software as a service. We create an energy management software, but sometimes we understand that uh, our partners may need us to help them with certain needs, like, for instance, customization. As said, we can offer to you services for um, having a wide level version of the platform, uh, personalized URL or single sign-on, so that you can log into several platforms. Uh, we can offer to you as well ad hoc developments through our open API. We can create new applications for you or customize reports and dashboards. We can help you as well with the integration of uh, energy data and other energy-related data, not necessarily kilowatt hour, but maybe occupation, number of units, synchronization of the, the platform, let's say, to, to external systems like CRMs, data lakes, or external algorithms. And last but not least, we are always uh, happy and available to give you specific trainings about whatever you need. So as an energy service company or utility, you may be considering to set up a business unit on solar or a business, business uh, unit on sustainability. Then we can give you specific trainings on how to use our software to help this business unit and share our previous knowledge on, on that. So uh, if you are a utility company, you're an energy service company, uh, um, an original equipment manufacturer of energy meters and sensors or a consultancy company or any other company that might want to provide energy services to end customers, um, here up, uh, how our partner program works and which are the benefits for you and stay for, for the call um, with uh, Bilal that will explain how to set up your, your first project. But uh, if you are a corporation, you're an, an organization um, with multi-site portfolio or, or large portfolio, uh, contact us so that we can help you design the project and we can put you in contact with uh, the relevant partners in, re in your region uh, to help you build an energy management solution together. So um, this uh, was the, the introduction and now uh, please Bilal, uh, if you can explain how to make this a, a reality, right? Running from theory to, to reality. <laughs> sure, Miguel, thanks again. And uh, welcome again to all of our guests from around the world. Um, I think it's important to start that, I guess, before we get into becoming a partner during the pre-sales discussions, we will have already spent some time to better understand your business, the services you provide, as well as the target markets. And, and as Miguel shared earlier, making sure to align the right package and services to meet your business requirements. I now have the pleasure to sort of share with you the five steps to success on your first project using Dexman. So using Using Dexma, it's it's never been so fast. Um, so let's get started on becoming a Dexma expert. From the moment you put your trust in Dexma, we take you on a journey. And in these five easy steps, we will help you become a master of the platform. From the very beginning, you'll be guided by our customer success team, which is formed of energy, telecommunications, and industry experts to help you every step of the way. So let's get started. As mentioned previously, even before you're welcome to the platform with your credentials, we will have already spent that time to better understand your business, operational and customer needs, the types of services you offer and clear expectations of the various stakeholders using the platform. This will help us ensure that the steps to success are smoother and faster. Once you're welcomed, you'll receive your Dexma credentials to access the platform. We appreciate that when using any new tool, it can be a learning journey. That's why we also provide a glossary so that you can familiarize yourself with concepts and terms. You will also have access to a vast resource library, allowing you to focus on the Dexma capabilities that are important to you 
and how the platform can help you manage your projects. Now you're ready to start unleashing the value of Dexma, so let's go. Creating your first account has never been so easy. Uh, from the moment you get your credentials, in just a few clicks, you'll be able to create a new account to start working on. In less than 60 seconds, you can be inside Dexma with your first customer created. So now let's help them on their sustainability journey. Onboarding on the platform has also seen some major improvements. After creating your first account, the platform itself will guide you through using product tours to the main functionalities. But don't worry if you don't have time. You'll always be able to visualize all of these features again in the future. We don't want to overwhelm you, just help you get started. As well as the product tours, you will also have easy access to our help center with over 200 articles explaining all of the features and functionalities that make up the platform. So now you know your way around the platform and have reviewed the resources, it's time to start gathering data and unlocking those insights. As Alfonso and the product team explained during the demo tour, our platform is hardware agnostic, which means you have many options and ways to send us data. And if you can't find that option, then don't worry, we'll help you get integrated. As previously mentioned, there are already different integrated gateways with over 40 uh, ways of sending data through FTP, SFTP and email, with also the ability to import historical data. And even if you have a big project to set up, don't worry, you won't have to do it all manually, as we also have the in-bulk setup option described earlier. Just get in touch with our awesome support team and they will help you get set up accordingly quickly. Once you're set up and that's all completed, you're ready to start analyzing the data using all of the multiple tools and functionalities available. Start your benchmarking across your portfolio, across multiple locations, compare your real-time data with historical consumption, setting up an MNV project to start tracking the progress of an energy conservation measure. You can also invite all of the right stakeholders to your account. In fact, as many users as you want, there is no limit. Share, collaborate, and optimize your client's consumption. You're almost there. Now you're set up and you've got all of the functionalities under your belt, you can truly become a Dexma expert by joining our community of like-minded companies and individuals. Access to our community is exclusive for our customers. We have so much to share with you. Subscribe to our product newsletter and get all the latest updates and news from our community, getting notifications on new end user opportunities that are aligned to your business and services that you offer. Being part of our community also shapes our roadmap and Dexma also offers the ability to beta test new functionalities, allowing you to provide feedback before they're even launched. We're also happy to announce the launch of our new weekly training modules running on all aspects of the platform. Perfect for a new starter in your business or just as a refresher. It's packed full of resources, webinars, white papers, and so much more to help you truly become a Dexma expert. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Alongside you is our dedicated customer success team, as I mentioned, made up of engineers, experts in energy, industry, and telecommunication. We're not bots, but real people with real experiences, ready to solve your challenges. Thank you all, and I'd like to pass over to Caro now, who heads up our inbound marketing team. Caro, over Thanks. to you. Thank you, Bilal. Yeah, the journey doesn't end once you're a Dexma expert. On a marketing perspective, it just gets starting. So we run co-marketing programs, and the reason behind it is simply that we love our customers. And once again, we wish for win-win-win-win collaboration. Win for Dexma, win for the partner, win for the end customer, and win for the planet. So the goal of the co-marketing program is really to share our customer stories, to share your success stories, to help you create a strong brand and create value for you to find new customers in the future. So our marketing um, team works crazy to produce a big amount of content. Um, first, you can be featured on the partners page because visibility is key. Being able to be found by end customer is very important and those potential end customers can filter by country to better find you. 
Um, then the other participation from our co-marketing programs is to write articles. We need your expertise and we're very happy to share your expertise on our blog, which allows you to get, as you can see, a lot of views on a yearly basis. Another possibility is to co-host a webinar. It's very trendy at the moment. It's more dynamic than an article. And as you can see, we, you gathered, we gathered around 2,500 new contacts only last year with five or six webinars, I think. Um, we can also have dedicated partner spotlights if you want to have all eyes more on you than other partners. The idea is to have a dedicated interview where we help you better define what kind of customers you're looking for, what are your key capabilities as a partner and how you work really. Another possibility that is very, very powerful is a white paper. It's a deep dive on a specific topic that you as a partner master and that you use Dexmat to better help your customers. And finally, the best quality for all potential customer are real case studies. Where you, where you share real numbers and real successes from your customers. So how does it work really? Well, our team of sales development representative helps warming up the leads for you. We receive new leads. We have a strong database around 7,000 end customers and our team has a call with them, better understand their energy project, where they stand on their energy journey and really what do they need and which of our partner can really help them. Then we introduce that person to the adequate partner so they can go on and onboard a new project. Um, how does it work really? We know from our marketing material that prospect has an interest. This prospect provides a few information enough that it can be contacted by our experts and then we select the right partner and we introduce the clients to the partner. We can even support for the introduction and stay a bit longer if needed. All we want is for all teams to collaborate all together to reach better sustainability. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to actually have actual case studies, I believe, with our success heroes. Exactly. Over here. Mm -hmm. There we are. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Bilal. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, we want to uh, show you a bit of what we do at Customer Success. And for those who already know us, uh, partners, clients, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, we are going to show you in this last part of the of the Dexma day uh, what's maximizing your success uh, and what we understand for maximizing your success. So for this track, I've prepared this agenda together with Adriana in this case. Uh, we will show up a bit the current situation, the needs that we brought us here to to talk about, about uh, existing customers and how do we uh, help them uh, succeed. Uh, we, will, we will do it through a success case uh, together with a demo that Adriana mm -hmm. here next to me will, will show you. And then we will discuss a bit the value delivery with this demo just to make a wrap up and then uh, we will finish with some upcoming news. Okay, so yeah. Let's start with the current situation. So uh, previous tracks of this session already talk about uh, what the difficult of saving energy, uh, that is not an option anymore. We are obliged to because we have laws restricting it or energy prices soaring. So that's, that's not an option, it's a must. Uh, together with tight budgets, so inflation uncertainty, we, we, we doesn't have big budgets to implement energy savings and that's a, that's a constraint. Uh, another important point is that the hardware is not uh, there anymore. We have a uh, global supply chain problems. Uh, we have uh, a lack of, of, of components are, are abroad and around the world and hardware is not always the best 
a starting point for a new project. And as said, due to these regulations, due to, to these, uh, to these uh, constraints and requests, saving is uh, obliged to be, to be done as soon as possible. So there's urgency in saving. So what do we do with saving uh, for free uh, with no hardware in as soon as possible? Well, uh, we will try to give some light here, uh, starting by what do we understand by uh, having success and maximizing your, your success. So we as, 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 as partners of you or you as, as customers may need a, an, an agreed uh, definition of success together with your customer. So in our case, it will be reduce time to values, achieve savings, KPIs, communicate these uh, at proper levels, and this shared definition of success will have to be met with, with your customer. Yes, but what does it really mean? So we, we want to focus on, on the value avoiding um, man, person person hours and uh, manual repetitive tasks we want to reduce this time to value so that you can get the value as soon as possible with data gathering assistance configuration time investment selection etc and of course we want you to uh, uh, reach a broader scope with with the the the, the persons you have or reach more customers uh, without having to throw in people at it and how do we implement this? Well, the magical word at Dexma is automate, which is in economical terms would be scale. And that means that we put automation in all possible processes uh, that might lead to this value. Where are we helping with this? So lowering cost of data gathering by having an agnostic platform that can uh, have information from several technologies centralizing and normalizing this information in a one single place so that you can benchmark and you can uh, compare uh, similar course uh, from different technologies then of course aiding into giving some extra tooling in your day-to-day -day analysis and, and, and energy savings actions prioritizations uh, actions undertaking etc and of course uh, in, in real-time reporting and stakeholder communication. That's, that's where we can speed up uh, by lowering costs. And where do we add value here? Well, derived the, the from this automation, we avoid human error, of course. So avoiding having to focus on things that maybe are not the, the most critical ones, uh, helping by, by giving and discovering more savings in a big portfolio, uh, in, in energy prices soaring, etc. Of course, increasing productivity. So uh, lowering costs means here to reach more with less. And as a collateral, collateral uh, benefit of this is that by saving, you will have or reduced carbon emissions and you will contribute to uh, the sustainable development goals, like giving visibility to what you are uh, saving, the carbon footprint, and all in, in a seamless way, okay? Okay, and this will lead you to an increased customer trust. So the, the, the same trust that we try to reach by, by having um, putting things easier to you, it's the same that you will have with your customers if you, if you achieve this. So if, if the customer uh, won't uh, see you more like a provider, but as a partner that will trust you in maybe other projects, okay? So to explain a bit how these articulate in Dexma, we uh, present this uh, success case, Megafruit. Uh, Megafruit is a, is, a, is a company that will need uh, energy savings and Dexma will help this. So by starting this, may I present, introduce you Maite. This is Maite. Uh, she's a brilliant energy manager. Uh, she works for Madex, a partner of Dexma since a long time ago. Uh, Maite is, is very aware of the, of, of the consciousness on the, on the sustainability that we need for our planet and to give uh, our uh, upcoming people a better world. Uh, but she's also aware of, of having, uh, uh, having to work at a company with, with, uh, with budgets, with, with, with needs of, uh, of, of, uh, of revenue. And uh, she has a new project on, on, his on her table, which is Megafruit. 
And which, what is Megafruit? Megafruit is a success company. Uh, he's a, a retail of, of fresh uh, fruit and vegetables. Uh, they, they won uh, a lot of, of, of value by having them uh, the, the global supply chain integrated vertically. So they, they uh, ha have a business end-to-end -end from the pickup to fruit, uh, warehousing, and putting it to the end customer. But uh, after having more than 100 retails about the Catalan territory, uh, Mayor of is facing a, a crisis because the energy prices soaring uh, are eroding their margins and is looking for someone who can help on this. So Megafruit have, uh, have no monitoring so far. He, they have just energy invoices and did some uh, energy savings actions, but with no proper order, just they ring a bell on them. And uh, they have an overall consumption of uh, nearly six gigawatt, uh, gigawatt hours. So it's, it's quite considerable big consumption. So Maite takes on the project with enthusiasm from previous experience. She knows she can save up to 15, 30% of energy there. And he, she also sees some challenges there. So there's where to focus. There are several activities, warehousing, retail shops. So where they, do they start uh, saving? And it's, it's a blank page to start. So in this regards, uh, we will perform a demo just to uh, show you uh, what are the key values that with this this customer, this success story, we have detected and we can and we can uh, we can prove. So for this, we have Adriana here that will mm -hmm. guide you through the demo that we prepare for you. Yes. Yeah, so Hi. thank you, Terry. So yeah, Maite she chooses Dexma as the main tool to help with these savings. And what she needs is to set up the, the account easily and very fast so that she can start looking at all the locations and seeing which ones have the most uh, savings potential. And also tools to investigate more in detail these, these potentials and a way of say, um, tracking the projects that she will start with this with these information. Mm -hmm. And on all the process to keep all the stakeholders informed and automatically. Of course. So maybe should we see it in, in the actual platform? Yeah, we can see it in action. So she logs in. Also, Megafruit has this beautiful branding for them. And she has created um, one of uh, one account for this client. She has also created other ones, but now she chooses this one. Beautiful, nice branding. <laughs> we have. Yeah, so when she enters the platform, as she has installed the map, she has all the data here. Oh, all the retail stores here. Yes. Yeah. And you would ask, how has she configured this? Because it looks like a lot of information information having to be transferred in the, plans, mm -hmm. in the platform, right? But she has used two different tools to make it very quick and easy. In one side, she has used database. We have talked about data lakes many times in, in the sessions today. So she's used database, which is integrated with Dexma. And the only thing she had to do is come here to the settings, gateways. Some of you might know already this page, right? And she registered a new gateway just here and inserting uh, her credentials here and the group's number, so the fiscal meter number, for each shop. She only needs to do that. She, not, she doesn't need to actually go to the shop or to the location. And she already has hourly consumption data for all of, the, all of their locations. So hardware solution for those who are outside of Spain, that this is the Spanish data hub, but we are now integrating with Enedis, as many product already told you, and we have also Fluvius integrated. So the trend here will be that that more and more countries will will open up their data hubs, energy data hubs. So uh, systems like Dexma will be able to attach to. Uh, hard work less. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now she has all the data, but she also needs to um, to insert all the locations here, key to, uh, all where they are located, the the surfaces of, of them. information there. Yeah. yeah. But she can do that with this Excel file that she can download from the platform. So she only needs to uh, configure it here once, and this is uploaded and automatically created in the platform. So 
You don't need to go creating one by one all the locations in there. Oh, very convenient. Although you can modify them later. Nice. We were here. Mm -hmm. Right. So when Maite has all the data, we've seen that this is very quick. The first thing, the first thing she does is going to detect our one of our of our products. And when she enters, she will see, now you will see, um, like the main, like a summary, well, you have only already see it, seen it in other tracks, but uh, the summary of the status, the locations Megafruit has. Uh -huh. And she sees, for example, this map. You can exactly, you have a map yeah. here to focus on the most worst performers. Yeah, these big red ones are the ones that has to be checked first, right? Yes. You can also see that in charts and rankings here. Yes. So she quickly sees that the Yeda production uh, location has a huge savings estimation, so much bigger than the other ones. And she contacts Marfrito, so the boss of Megafruit, and he explains that they have been uh, installing LED lightning for all the locations, but Yeda hasn't been updated in this yet. So this is the reason why. But this is why uh, how Maite has spotted this very fast. Okay. So she uses the tech, but she also uses uh, analyze. And one thing she does, going back to the map, is checking region by region. So inside Catalonia, for example, she goes to Girona, and she she notices she she checks she sees that um, some shops, for example, this one in Peradaya and this one in Palamos, they are very similar. Mm -hmm. They have both uh, the same surface, yeah. but one of them has um, much more consumption than the other, right? So what she does is going to the consumption screen that allows her to compare two different devices, two different locations. Uh -huh. So if we put here, uh, uh, yeah, no, yes, no, yes. Pero was it? And no, pero tallada, yeah, and the other was Palamos. Um, uh, okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, exactly. And for example, in September. And I think that they would, will be nicer. Uh -huh. For a smoother curve. So yeah, here we, we see that the curve uh, for Verdallada has the same shape than the one in Palamos, but above it, right? It's not that Verdallada has some peaks that makes this consumption bigger. But they they are quite the same, the best, uh, the similar, but uh, with the base uh, higher in the Peratallada shop. So Maite investigates. She talks to the manager on the on the shop in Peratallada, and they explain that so they they see that the door mm -hmm. in the refriger refrigeration chamber uh, is broken. It's not closing right properly. So mm -hmm. that's the reason because of this. So they they know that they have to. To repair this, and in the meantime, she create uh, Maite creates an alert so that an email is automatically created and and sent to to the manager of the shop to uh, notify him if this happens again, so he can check the door again. Okay, so it's benchmarking uh, between retails and also alerting in case of mm -hmm. things happen again. Exactly, yeah. we have now compared two different shops, right? We can also compare. At one location with their with its own consumption in the uh -huh, past. Uh -huh. To do that, we go to comparison and um, checking one by one. Maite has found in in Artesa de Segra. So, for example, she has compared the summer months, right? It's compared just two months. Um, she compares July, well, August. And July, uh -huh. okay. very easily. And these are two months that have the same, more or less the same temperatures here in Spain, at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she sees that in August, this, this shop has consumed much more than in July. And once again, she investigates, she contacts the shop manager. And the reason is because they haven't done the maintenance of the refrigerator chamber. Uh -huh. um, okay. So, so yeah, they are using more energy to achieve the same temperature, right? And we've seen now comparing between different locations, comparing with the same location, but they different pass periods. Uh -huh. right? These are another two. She mm -hmm. she works with all that, and she also works with the 
microgrid to check these photovoltaic panels that Matritos told her that they have. So yeah, they that's have true. Them. They put some panels on the on the warehouse, exactly. right? Because they have they some already tried. Of surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is in warehouse two. They are installed here in Barcelona. And if we check, for example, also we check August. Yeah, when there's a lot of, lot, of, <laughs> lot of sun there, yeah. yeah. And also maybe hourly is nicer. So you see here. Uh -huh. Yeah, indeed. And um, here we can see, even if we uncheck the remainder, so we see the difference. The solar panels are generating a lot of energy, but the consumption of, of the shops that are using it, using them is not that much. So mm -hmm. once again, with the reminder, they are losing a lot of energy produced, right? So my thesis is two things. In one th in one side, that this project had the uh, was uh, mm -hmm. overdimensioned. So this is a lesson learned. Yes. And on the other side, what can they do? So she recommends Marfitos, Megafit, to either uh, buy batteries so that they can save so store this energy and use it later, mm -hmm. or uh, exported to the grid because right now they are they are not exporting it exactly and they could have an economic okay. uh, mm -hmm. yeah income from that exactly nice. so let's imagine that with all this analysis that that mm -hmm. Maite does she starts implementing some projects maybe now she that she has this proof and um, they Mike Megafrit is now interested in in investing in mm -hmm. hardware which hadn't wasn't needed before because we already had data. And she starts um, managing some product uh, projects that she follows up with MNV uh, feature, so measurement okay. and verification. Here we are in Barcelona, but so yeah, after some months, so Maite is is ahead in time, and he she has convinced the customer to invest in some projects of energy efficiency, mm -hmm. and now with MNV she can track and prove the value of this. Right. Exactly. Okay. So mm -hmm. here she has created one project for each of the main uh, locations. And thanks to these features, she can see each month if she's being um, okay with the baseline that she has created or she's above and if she's uh, getting to the savings that have been planned or not also in accumulated. So you okay. can see that. So and proving proving savings is much easier with exactly MB. Automatic reporting also can be um, transferred to reports, as we will explain later. Uh -huh. And she also creates a group of with all these projects that we've seen that it's not shown in, in consumption, but in carbon dioxide. This means that this shows uh, the reduction of the carbon footprint of the, com of the uh, company of Megafruit. And this, well, Mark Fritos really likes this because this shows uh, that not only that they comply with the official requirements right nowadays but it also shows their clients that they care and that they work in uh, for yeah for reducing co2 emissions uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. yeah 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 so what else might also uses reports uh -huh. reports of course. yeah they, they are used uh, to inform all stakeholders they can be automatically saved and also sent mm -hmm. and they can be customized by, by here but there are also reports that are used by Maite herself like the simulation report, mm -hmm. bill simulation that she can compare with the actual uh, bills from Megafruit, so that she can compare with the information she has. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, but what she likes the most for reporting is the new dashboards from Dexma. Because reports are quite static, right? Yeah. So it's good to have a snapshot, but not real-time communication. Exactly, okay. exactly. That's it. Uh, dashboards allow you to have um, a very visual uh, information and very quick, just with a click, not needing to log in the platform. So let's see, for example, this dashboard that Maite has created for the CEO and CFO. Mm -hmm. And here we see the total consumption of Megafruit and also the cost. Very interesting, especially for yeah, the CFO, yeah. if you know. CFO will love it, yeah. <laughs> and here we see uh, the, main, the five main main locations. KPIs and the comparison with, for example, here last month, mm -hmm. as it's in green, we see that we've improved, we're consuming less, and we can see here also the evolution of them. Uh -huh. If we zoom in, we also see more in detail the, 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 most, five. the most important consumers here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And cool. this is only for for the CEO and CFO, but she can also give access, uh, for example, for 
for the warehouse officer where they can see the consumption last month, so, the consumption last, last year, so they see uh, what's more, in their responsibility. More, more, no? more detailed information of the portfolio they are assigned to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the same thing, just having a coffee and with a click even in the phone, uh -huh. and you can check that. Also for the production center, you see the generation here and, and you see the solar radiation as well mm -hmm. with uh, <clears throat> measuring measuring the, the sun. Mm -hmm. So uh, Maite has already created all this automatically reporting. Yes. All, mm -hmm. um, everything is, is being analyzed and project on track. So what she, her, her main work now is following up with the projects and using Optimize. Uh -huh. Because you know that Optimize uses uh, artificial intelligence to detect, so yeah, to show you the anomalies mm -hmm. with as little as they are, and to, to allow you to save some, some to have some savings that you would need more time to actually find by yourself going by by one, right? Yes, indeed. So for example, you enter here, mm -hmm. and, and it, this, this is what uh, the platform I, I advise you to do, so it notifies you. Yes, maybe check this. Maybe this is uh, this may allow you to to have some savings. Uh -huh. So my day is focused on on the more bigger things, but when it comes to the the, the autopilot, uh, the minor things, then optimize will help by detecting these anomalies mm -hmm. that maybe proactively would be difficult to catch. Exactly. But maybe in a reactive way, it's it's easier to to find and solve, no? Exactly. And so, and so cool. if she sees the opportunity, she just uh, contacts the the officer or the manager of each location, mm -hmm. and she has um, she has all the work done. Very convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> okay. So yeah, thank you, uh, Adriana. So I've, as you might have seen, uh, we we have done a big walkthrough overall walkthrough, but quite fast, about how do we insert and configure data fast, uh, how do we uh, use the different tools that we have at Dexma, detect, analyze, alerting, benchmarking, etc., microgrids, project, MME projects, and of course, how do we communicate to the uh, key stakeholders all, all these information real time and with no extra configuration. So yeah, no more about this demo, just uh, uh, highlighting that uh, we have saved time here uh, by implementing all these uh, things and inputting into automation, avoiding error, and of course, uh, having a system, a system to prioritize and to focus on the on the important things. Uh, last thing to mention here is that the XMAT platform is an open platform, so it's an open system with an API. This is really relevant for big customers that already have uh, other systems in place, not energy management systems, but ERPs, uh, CRMs, whatever it's uh, needed for the business. And Dexma eases the, 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 the path and the way by having this open API and having a means to integrate with, with third party systems. That's quite, quite important, saving mm -hmm. IT time from all parts. And that's it from the demo. So upcoming news, very short, we are short on time. Uh, this, of course, this demo is based on uh, new Dexma licenses that we are uh, now promoting uh, from the sales team and from, from Dexma. Uh, we we'll put not much time here on kid. Uh, sales already explained this um, product. And of course, we have two good news here. Uh, we are improving our user onboardings. So, Whenever a user is created at Dexma, uh, be sure that we will uh, automatically communicate to send uh, the, the first steps to uh, start working with Dexma, what are the key topics. We have product tools on the platform, so we are improving on this. And we are releasing uh, also the weekly online trainings, no, this mm -hmm. month? Yeah, exactly. We already started last week. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, we have uh, online trainings for free, open to you, just uh, uh, click on the links that we will provide or already provided to you and you can attend all these trainings uh, just to speed up your, your expertise with Dexma. So yeah, you're all very welcome. And last but not least, uh, we are here ready to help. So here Adriana, me, but all the team and all Dexma. And as sales team, they said, we are not robots, but we are at your service. Thank you very much Thank for the presentation. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, I think we are short on time. So for Q&A, maybe it's 
uh, please send us an email and we will of course answer all your questions uh, and for uh, yeah especially thank you for all the session and for being there thank you very much thank you thank you very much